Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft crafting system and uh, today we're going to finish the script so we for that we are just going to remove this because we don't need that and are um, going to create two voids and they're going to do exactly the opposite of each other actually the first one is getting the item ID so if you've got uh, a few slots if you're using a few slots you uh, it will make an ID, the crafting ID, and it will check which ID is uh, belongs to that ID, that crafting ID. So that's the first void. The other void is, well, actually just cutting from that crit of three by three. Um, let me just remove this. Um, the crafting ID. So the first thing we are going to uh, find is that we are going to get the crafting ID. So a public void get craft ID and we uh, are going to start by that the current craft ID so which craft ID it is currently <laughs> uh, will be empty just to make sure there isn't because we're going to add every time a number or uh, E from empty towards uh, the string um, to see what the uh, what the crafting ID is and you uh, because you are going to add it, you first need to empty it because otherwise you'll get uh, the craft ID of the last uh, last time. We will just also add that to the current craft ID. Um, so we are going to do that with um, a for loop, and you can create it like this. So we are going to use an int i. We're going to start by zero. We are going to do it uh, until. Uh, 8 so if it is uh, we need 9 and every time it will uh, do this loop it will add uh, towards i 1 so it will actually just do every single slot of the uh, 3 by 3 crit it will just check that and it will just check if uh, there is an item inside it so um, craft slots so that's from the 3 by d 3 crit and from that uh, numero i uh, from that the text so and we'll just check if it isn't empty because if it is empty there is just no item i think that's that's logic uh, if it is uh, uh, if it isn't empty we can just add by the current craft id um, the ID of the craft slots because inside the craft slots that I stands uh, the ID of the craft uh, or of the item so we'll just add that towards it and um, from craft slots image because it's also going to change the um, the image that will stand on a 3x3 three three crit which full of, uh, of images just like I uh, showed you last episode because we actually got uh, two 3x3 three three crits one which uh, are all input fields where you just add uh, the ID and another one where our images are and this line will make sure that on the image 3x3 uh, three three crit there will be the right image on the right slot so we'll change the sprite towards you will get from all the items and then we'll just parse uh, so make from int or from a string an int and it's from that from craft uh, slots um, craft slots from that i of course from that text so we'll get the id id and from that we'll uh, want to have the image but if it isn't and that's why I also said that uh, there wasn't something uh, right in the last uh, ep uh, tutorial or in the last part of this tutorial. And I changed it and uh, this will happen here because if there isn't an, uh, an item inside the 3x3 three three crit, you also need a certain code towards the string that it knows um, that it is empty because otherwise, uh, for example, a sword. Um, 
you will have uh, it's just like the middle uh, the middle one of uh, the uh, the first line will be of for example iron um, also the middle of the middle line will be iron and the last one will be wood or the middle of the last line will be wood but if you don't add this line it will actually um, uh, you can also create a sword like just one wood there on the first line one wood there on the first line in the middle and or i mean one iron there on the first line one iron here uh, the middle one of the first line and one wood there because it will just if there isn't an empty it will just not add it towards the current craft id that string so to fix that it's very simple um just add here e from empty and here we will just change it of course towards an empty sprite um, so that's the empty slot so that's everything to get a craft id now we got the craft id or wait a minute uh, we need here just uh, otherwise i will forget it um, here we need to add the get item id so just to make sure i don't forget to add it at the end of this tutorial and here we are going to add that if you are crafting so is crafting you will uh, get a craft id then we are going to create a new void so this is the second void and this is going to uh, change in crafting id towards an item id so you will get an oh get an item id and you will put here a string craft id so we can parse this uh, craft id uh, towards this void so here is going to we're going to add every single line to get from an item uh, to from a craft id towards an item id and here we will add that get item id from our current craft id oh current craft id so we now got the craft id right um and uh, i'm doing this by the way uh, this is a public variable so you might be asking why if you don't you just uh, use it right over here and that is because um, i noticed that sometimes if you are doing this uh, it will just for some reason um, the uh, current crash that you will already start with this void again if you've got a really fast computer by the way if you just uh, do this within around 100 frames uh, unity uh, hardly gets this anywhere but if you do it sometimes it will just uh, already start over and will just empty it and we won't get any item so just to make sure that we are going to uh, make sure that that glitch won't happen this is already just you no know, just to be sure so here we are going to do um, a for loop again also we would int i it will start with zero but now it will just uh, check all the craftable items so that's the list where all the craft ids um, stand with the item ids and we'll just link it to the each other uh, dot count of course um, and we'll just add every time it will do the loop one um, then it will just check if the craftable um, items um from that craft id so we'll just get the craft id of well let's say the first one so zero will it be the same as the craft id um if it is we are going to do a few things the very first thing is we are going to get a current uh, the, our current id is from the craftable items Um, the item ID so you know just I think this is uh, fairly fairly easy to understand 
what we are now going to do is change the i and that's because you now got your uh, your id so why do you want to make this whole loop why do you want to uh, do this loop over and over and over and over again it will just uh, overload your computer without any reason it will just use ram without any uh, reason so we will just change this to craftable items dot count so now it is just um, well the same amount of this uh, of this so it isn't uh, um, less anymore the i is, isn't any less anymore so it won't do this loop again then we are going to change the result sprite so the sprite of that one single image that's standing on the right and we are going to uh, change it towards well from the items so from the current id and from that the image but now uh, for example you got an uh, you already got an id but then you change uh, in the 3 by 3 create uh, the items it will still think it got an item because here it just doesn't get any items but you don't change it to nothing again so that's why you need to make sure that every time it is nothing it will just change uh, the craft id to uh, the current id towards minus one so um, there isn't a minus one of course so you just know that uh, that there isn't actually an item inside there and we are also going to change of course the sprite and we're going to make it an empty slot i think that was all for uh, this episode um, i want to say a few things before um, i'm just going to end this part in the next part we are going to create the the ue uh, system like i did within the first uh, part the, uh, which i showed and uh, I'm also going to show you how to get the crafting ID, how to uh, get the recipes from everything and well just how to make sure this system just properly works within your K. Um, that's the thing we're going to do next tutorial or next part and also if you just got any questions and you just think I'm missing something in this system uh, just tell so, uh, just say so and I'll just maybe add it. An important thing is that um, this isn't an inventory system, so you just need to think about that. So maybe I will make an inventory system at one point with an all tutorial series, but not for this one. So just make sure you don't think that, that I'm going to do that. Um, as far from that, I think this was the tutorial. So I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please leave a like or a subscribe. And I see you guys next week with the, next, uh, with the last tutorial, last part of this tutorial.